Hey everybody, with the last few minutes remaining of the MongoDB in one hour series, I thought I'd get a little more in depth with collections. As we've learned at the beginning of the series, a collection is a group of documents and a database is a group of collections. Within your database to show collections, you can type show collections. Currently, we only have one, students. Let's create another though. Let's create a collection of teachers. We'll use the db.create collection method, pass in a name for this collection. Let's create a collection of teachers. So this would work. However, there are some additional options that we can pass in as arguments to this method. Let's add the next argument. It's comma separated. Another argument that we can pass into this method when creating a collection is a max size for this collection. We will set the capped field to be true. That's informing MongoDB this collection should have a maximum size. This field is either true or false. If capped is set to true, you do need a minimum size specified. So size, that's a field. Then set a size in bytes. If you would like a maximum size of 10 megabytes, that would be 10 million. 10 million bytes. Let me count my zeros. Yeah, that's accurate. And or you can have a maximum number of documents. You will set the max field to be some amount of documents. I don't want any more than 100 teachers. Our collection has a maximum size of 10 megabytes. We've also set that there can be no more than 100 documents in this collection. We don't want any more than 100 teachers. There are a few more advanced options for collections, but that's beyond our level right now. But another you may be interested in is auto index ID. So that is a separate argument. It's comma separated. We need a document body, auto index ID. This is either true or false. Based on indexes in the last topic, automatically we apply an index to object IDs, but we can toggle that to be true or false. There are some pros and cons with indexes. An index allows for quick lookup, but any write operations are a little bit slower. I'll set auto index ID to be false. Let's execute this command. All right, that was approved. Let's show our collections, show collections. And we have two collections, a collection for students and a collection for teachers. Hey, let's create one more for practice. Let's create one more collection. db.create collection. What's the collection name? Let's create a collection of courses, like what classes can we take at our school? That was approved. Let's show our collections. And we have three, courses, students, teachers. Then to drop a collection, you type db, the name of the collection. Let's drop our courses dot drop method. That was dropped. Let's show our collections again. And we are back to two collections, a collection of students and a collection of teachers. All right, everybody, that was MongoDB in one hour. Hey, if you've made it this far, be sure you've smashed that like button. Leave a random comment down below and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.